Thankfully, these didn't exist. At least I didn't know they did when I was on prednisone or it would have been bad news because I would have eaten them all. So I want to know what are your favorite strategies, your favorite tactics for not gaining weight while on prednisone? I personally took prednisone for nine months. I'm Dr. Megan, your prednisone pharmacist. And I'm here to help you not just survive prednisone, but thrive while on prednisone. And today I'm going to share with you what your fellow prednisone warriors said. And when I asked that question on my Facebook page, prednisone warriors with Dr. Megan. So you should, if you're not already on that page, you should like that page and follow it. But in the meantime, I have their best advice for you. At the end of this video, I'll share what my best tactics were and a, a tip that I have to share for you. So first we have this, I'm going to be reading these. So my eyes will be over here looking at that screen, but I want you to hear their words because they take prednisone just like you. This one said, I found it easier to control my appetite at 120 milligrams through 90 milligrams, then 60 milligrams, down to 20 milligrams and constantly hungry. Only since passing through 40 milligrams did I really start to eat exponentially more and my weight increased. I find that really interesting because I, that's the opposite of how I usually see it. I usually see the higher the dose, the higher the hunger cravings, but he had less hunger cravings at those super high doses. He continues, trying harder now to control caloric intake and as I recover, increasing my exercise regime. The exercise does not really impact on weight per se, but it does help to suppress my appetite for a while. Additional benefits come in two forms. I walked my dog 5,000 steps this morning. Good weight bearing exercise to help retain muscle mass. But more importantly, weight-bearing exercise helps combat the impact of steroids on bone mass and therefore addresses some of my concerns about future osteoporosis. And then he says he does cardiovascular on an exercise bike later. Moderate exercise to take my pulse to 120 to 130 beats per minute. Not too strenuous, but helps maintain muscle and is beneficial to respiratory function and circulation. One of those things, this is his final perspective. If I had the choice of survival against gaining weight, survival, gaining weight, get me a new wardrobe every time. So for him, the weight gain is a price he's willing to pay to survive. That was the same for me. All right, now we're moving down to Heather. Heather said, I have kept the same weight. Three years of prednisone doses started at 15 milligrams now on four milligrams, but have been at two a couple of times. What she did is she stopped chocolate and sugar, reduced carb and went to a higher fiber bread when I have it. Chips and potatoes are only a treat. Half portions of rice or pasta when I have meals in the canteen. One meal a day with healthy snacks like avocado or meat with salad and fruit. Sometimes greens as the main portion with butter. Just rethinking what's worth eating and what's not. Being flexible about traditional cereal breakfast. Occasionally, that when I have, I have that as a treat. I've had a few mince pie breakfasts lately. So I think she is from a different country because we don't talk about the canteen quite as much here. All right, now Lori. Lori says she's taking it right before bedtime. And that's what helps her. But that only helps when she wakes up, until she wakes up in the morning. <laughs> so she doesn't eat all night. That's good. All right. Sharon said, keto really worked. I lost 45 pounds in six months and felt fantastic. She's trying to get back to it. Got to dive right back in. I did great on keto. And then I fell off the wagon. So that was Lori. I mean, Sharon. Now, Ken. Ken said he exercises daily. And he said his best recommendation is to control what you eat in both the quality and the quantity. I couldn't agree more with that. All right. Agnes says sauerkraut. Yep. Every day, a small serving, even if it's just putting it, 
putting a fork in the glass jar and swirling it around and eating it just like that. So much more comes out of you with less effort and it helps with the cravings big time. You'll notice it at the end of your first jar. Give it some time. I've never tried that one. I would love to hear if anybody else has and what your results are because that sounds like a really awesome like um, real cuisine like um, from certain countries that they would have that kind of a benefit from their customs. Okay. Connie said lots of water and protein. I think that's a really important one too. Paula says chew very slowly, drink lots of water, chew sugar for young and mints. Linda says low carb and lots of water. Karen says walking, swimming, intermittent fasting. And finally, Tracy says low carb. So there's lots of options there. Lots for you to choose from that your fellow prednisone warriors tried. And I personally had a hard time at the very beginning because I wasn't feeling well. And so at the beginning, I was just succumbing. And the more time I was on it, the more I was able to become more mindful about my eating. And so that is why I really made this one of my focuses as the prednisone pharmacist to help people figure out what to do about food when it comes to prednisone. So I have a few more videos in this series I'm about to release. And next week we will talk about um, foods to avoid while on prednisone. And then the following week, what snacks that your fellow prednisone warriors recommend. Finally, I have a program to help you while you're on prednisone and it's called the lose the prednisone pounds program. And it's just 28 days where you can really focus and really do your best to focus on prednisone and food and getting the right balance of those two things. I have it like there's an ebook that comes with it. There's a meal plan. There are recipes. It's all you need. So you, and it, the best part is, it's free. So all you have to do is click the link below and you can join my Lose the Prednisone Pounds program with Dr. Megan signing off as your prednisone pharmacist.